a description of hellfire. The names of hell, its presence and eternalness, and its guardians. Islam teaches that hell is a real place prepared by God for those who do not believe in him, rebel against his laws, and reject his messengers. Hell is an actual place, not a mere state of mind or a spiritual entity. The horrors, pain, anguish, and punishment are all real, but different in nature than their earthly counterparts. Hell is the ultimate humiliation and loss, and nothing is worse than it. Our Lord! Surely, whom you admit to the fire, indeed you have disgraced him, and never will the wrongdoers find any helpers. Quran 3 192 Know they not that whoever opposes God and his messenger, Muhammad, certainly for him will be the fire of hell to abide therein? That is the extreme disgrace. Quran 9 63 The Names of Hell Hell fire has different names in Islamic texts. Each name gives a separate description. Some of its names are Jahim fire because of its blazing fire. Jahannam hell because of the depth of its pit. Lat the blazing fire because of its flames. Sayer blazing flame because it is kindled and ignited. Sakar because of the intensity of its heat. Hatam a broken pieces or debris because it breaks and crushes everything that is thrown into it. Hawi a chasm or abyss because the one who is thrown into it is thrown from top to bottom. Paradise and hell presently exist and are eternal. Hell exists at the present time and will continue to exist forever. It will never die down and its inhabitants will remain in it forever. No one will come out of hell except sinful believers who believed in the oneness of God in this life and believed in the specific prophets sent to them before the coming of Muhammad. The polytheists and unbelievers will reside in it forever. This belief has been held from classical times and is based on clear verses of the Quran and confirmed reports from the Prophet of Islam. The Quran speaks of hell in the past tense and states that it has already been created. And fear the fire which is prepared for the disbelievers. Quran 3 131 The Prophet of Islam said, when any of you dies, he is shown his position, in the hereafter, morning and evening. If he is one of the people of paradise, he is shown the place of the people of paradise. If he is one of the people of hell, he is shown the place of people of hell. He is told, this is your position, until God resurrects you on the day of resurrection. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. In another report, the Prophet said, Surely, the soul of a believer is a bird hanging on the trees of paradise, until God returns it to his body on the day of resurrection. Mawada of Malik These texts make it clear that hell and paradise exist, and that souls may enter them before the day of resurrection. Speaking of hell's eternity, God says, They will long to leave the fire, but never will they leave therefrom, and theirs will be a lasting torment. Quran 5:37 and they will never leave of the fire. Quran 2 167 Surely, those who disbelieve and did wrong, God will not forgive them, nor will he guide them to any way except the way of hell, to dwell therein forever. Quran 4 168-169 Surely, God has cursed the disbelievers, and has prepared for them a flaming fire wherein they will abide forever. Quran 33 64 and whosoever disobeys God and his messenger, then surely, for him is the fire of hell, he shall dwell therein forever. Quran 72 23 The Keepers of Hell Mighty and stern angels stand over hell who never disobey God. They do precisely as ordered. God says, O you who believe, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones over which are, appointed, angels, stern and severe, who flinch not from executing the commands they receive from God, but do precisely what they are commanded. Quran 66 6 They are nineteen keepers of hell as God says. Soon I will cast him into hell fire. And what will explain to you what is hell fire? Nothing does it allow to endure, and nothing does it leave alone. Darkening and changing the color of man. Over it are nineteen angels as keepers of hell. Quran 74 2630 One should not think that the inhabitants of hell will be able to overcome the keepers of hell, because there are just 19 of them. 
Every one of them has the strength to subdue all humanity by himself. These angels are called the guards of hell by God in the Quran. And those in the fire will say to the guards of hell, Call upon your Lord to lighten for us the torment for a day. Quran 40 49 The name of the chief angel guarding over hell is Malik, as mentioned in the Quran. Surely, the disbelievers will be in the torment of hell to abide therein forever. The torment will not be lightened for them, and they will be plunged into destruction with deep regrets, sorrows, and in despair therein. We wronged them not, but they were the wrongdoers. And they will cry, O Malik! Let your Lord make an end of us he will say, Surely, you shall abide forever. Indeed we have brought the truth to you, but most of you have a hatred for the truth, Quran 43-74-78. Its appearance. The location, size, levels, gates and fuel of hell, as well as the clothing of its inhabitants. Its location. There is no exact mention from the Quran or the sayings of Prophet Muhammad which pinpoint the location of hell. No one knows its exact place except God. Due to some linguistic evidence and context of certain hadith, some scholars have stated that hell is in the heavens, yet others say it is in the lower earth. Its size. Hell is huge and immensely deep. We know this through several ways. First, innumerable people will enter hell each, as described in a hadith, with the molar teeth as large as Uhud, a mountain in Medina, one, the distance between the shoulders of its inhabitants has also been described as being equivalent to three days of walking, two, hell will house all the unbelievers and sinners from the beginning of time, and there will still be room for more. God says. On the day when we will say to hell, are you filled? It will say, are there any more to come? Quran 50 30. The fire of hell is likened to a mill that grinds thousands and thousands of tons of grain and then waits for more to come. Second, a stone thrown from the top of hell will take a very long time to reach the bottom. One of the companions of the prophet, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, describes how they were sitting with the prophet and heard the sound of something falling. The prophet inquired if they knew what it was. When they expressed their lack of knowledge, he said. That was a stone thrown into hell seventy years ago, and it is yet in the way, the other side, of hell until now. 3. Another report states. If a stone as big as seven pregnant camels was thrown from the edge of hell, it would fly through it for seventy years, and yet it would not reach the bottom. 4. Third, a great many angels will bring hell on the day of resurrection. God speaks of it. And hell will be brought near that day. Quran 89 23. The Prophet said. Hell will be brought forth that day by means of 70,000 ropes, each of which will be held by 70,000 angels. 5. Fourth, another report that indicates the vast size of hell is that the sun and moon will be rolled up in hell on the day of resurrection. 6. Its levels. Hell has various levels of heat and punishment, each is reserved according to the extent of their disbelief and sins of those being punished. God says. Surely, the hypocrites will be in the lowest depths, grade, of the fire. Quran 4 145. The lower the level of hell, the greater is the intensity of heat. Since the hypocrites will suffer the worst punishment, so will they be in the lowest part of hell. God refers to the levels of hell in the Quran. For all will be, ranked, by degrees according to what they did. Quran 6 132. Is one who seeks the good pleasure of God than like the one who draws on himself the wrath of God? His abode is hell, and worst, indeed, is that destination. They are in varying grades with God, and God is all seer of what they do. Quran 3 162 163. The Gates of Hell. God speaks of seven gates of hell in the Quran. And surely, hell is the promised place for them all. It has seven gates, for each of these gates is a class of sinners assigned. Quran 15. 43-44. Each gate has an allotted share of the damned who will enter through it. Each will enter according to his deeds and assigned a level of hell accordingly. When the unbelievers are brought to hell, its gates will open, they will enter it, and stay in it forever. And those who disbelieved will be driven to hell in groups until, when they reach it, its gates are opened and its keepers will say, 
did there not come to you messengers from yourselves, reciting to you the verses of your Lord and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They will say, yes, but the word, meaning the decree, of punishment has come into effect upon the disbelievers. Quran 39,71 They will be told after admission. Enter the gates of hell to abide eternally therein, and wretched is the residence of the arrogant. Quran 39,72 The gates will be shut, and there will be no hope of escape as God says. But those who reject our signs, they are the companions of the left hand. On them will be fire vaulted over, meaning the gates will be locked. Dot, 7, Quran 90 colon 19 20. Furthermore, God says in the Quran Woe to every scorner and mocker, who collects wealth and, continuously, counts it. He thinks that his wealth will make him immortal. No. He will surely be thrown into the crusher. And what can make you know what is the crusher's? It is the fire of God, eternally, fueled which mounts directed at the hearts. Indeed, it, hellfire, will be closed down upon them in extended columns. Quran 104,1-9 The gates of hell are also closed before the day of judgment. The Prophet of Islam spoke of them closing in the month of Ramadan, 8. It's fuel. Stones and stubborn unbelievers make the fuel of hell as God says. O you who have believed, protect yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stones. Quran 66:6. Then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. Quran 2:24. Another source of fuel for hell will be the pagan gods that were worshipped besides God. Indeed, you disbelievers and what you worship other than God are the firewood of hell. You will be coming to enter it. Had these false deities been actual gods, they would not have come to it, but all are eternal therein. Quran 21,98-99 The Clothing of Its Inhabitants God tells us that the dress of the people of hell will be garments of fire tailored for them. But those who disbelieved will have cut out for them garments of fire. Poured upon their heads will be scalding water. Quran 22,19 and you will see the criminals that day bound together in shackles, their garments of liquid pitch, melted copper, and their faces covered by the fire. Quran 14,49-50 It's food and drink. The heat of hell and the food and drink prepared for its inhabitants. The intense heat, food, and drink of the people of hell is described in Islamic religious sources. It's heat. God says. And the companions of the left, what are the companions of the left? They will be in scorching fire and scalding water and a shade of black smoke, neither cool nor beneficial. Quran 56,41-44 Everything people use to cool down in this world air, water, shade, will be useless in hell. The air of hell will be hot wind and the water will be boiling. The shade will not be comforting or cooling, the shade in hell will be the shadow of black smoke as mentioned in the verse and shadow of black smoke. Quran 56,43 In another passage, God says, But he whose balance of good deeds will be light, will have his home in a bottomless pit. And what will explain to you what this is? It is, a fire blazing fiercely. Quran 101,8-11 God describes how the shade of hell's smoke will rise above the fire. The smoke that rises from hell will be divided into three columns. Its shade will neither cool nor offer any protection from the raging fire. The flying sparks will be like huge castles similar to string of marching yellow camels. Proceed to a shadow of smoke having three columns, but having no cool shade and availing not against the flame. Indeed, it throws sparks as huge as a fortress, as if they were yellow camels marching swiftly. Quran 77 3033. The fire consumes everything, leaving nothing untouched. It burns skin reaching all the way to the bones, melting the contents of the stomach, leaping up to the hearts, and exposing the vital organs. God speaks of the intensity and effect of the fire. I will drive him into hellfire. And what can make you know what is hellfire? It lets nothing remain and leaves nothing, unburned, altering the skins. Quran 74 26 29. 
The Prophet of Islam said. Fire as we know it is one seventieth part of the fire of hell. Someone said, O Messenger of God, it is enough as it is. He said, It is as if sixty-nine equal portions were added to fire as we know it. Sahih al-Bukhari. The fire never extinguishes. So taste you, the results of your evil deeds. No increase shall we give you except in torment. Quran 78,30. Whenever it abates, we shall increase for them the fierceness of the fire. Quran 17,97. The torment will never be reduced, and the unbelievers will not have any break. Their torment shall not be lightened nor shall they be helped. Quran 2,86. The food of its inhabitants. The food of the people of hell is described in the Quran. God says, No food will there be for them except from a bitter, thorny plant which neither nourishes nor avails against hunger. Quran 88,6-7 The food will neither nourish nor taste good. It will only serve as a punishment to the people of hell. In other passages, God describes the tree of Zakim, a special food of hell. Zakim is a repulsive tree, its roots go deep into the bottom of hell, its branches stretching all over. Its ugly fruit is like the heads of the devils. He says. Indeed, the tree of Zakim is food for the sinful, like murky oil, it boils within bellies, like the boiling of scalding water. Quran 44 43-46 Is that, paradise, better as hospitality, or the tree of Zakim? Indeed, we have made it a torment for the wrongdoers. Indeed, it is a tree issuing from the bottom of the hellfire, its emerging fruit as if it was heads of the devils. And, indeed, they will eat from it and fill with it their bellies. Then, indeed, they will have after it a mixture of scalding water. Then, indeed, their return will be to the hellfire. Quran 37,62-68 Then indeed you, O those astray, who are, deniers, will be eating from trees of Zakim and filling with it your bellies, and drinking on top of it from scalding water, and will drink as the drinking of thirsty camels. That is their hospitality on the day of recompense. Quran 56 51-56 People of hell will get so hungry that they will eat from the obnoxious tree of Zakim. When they will fill their bellies with it, it will start to churn like boiling oil causing immense suffering. At that point they will rush to drink extremely hot water. They will drink it like thirsty camels, yet it will never quench their thirst. Rather their internals will be torn. God says. They will be given to drink boiling water, so that it cuts up their bowels, to pieces. Quran 47 15. The thorny bushes in Zakim will choke them and stick in their throats because of their foulness. Surely, with us are fetters, to bind them, and a ranging fire, to burn them, and a food that chokes, and a penalty grievous. Quran 73 12-13. The Prophet of Islam said. If a drop from Zakim were to land in this world, the people of earth and all their means of sustenance would rot. So how must it be for one who must eat it? Tirmidhi. Another food served to the people of hell will be festering puss that oozes out of their skin, the discharge that flows from the private parts of adulterers and the decaying skin and flesh of those being burnt. It is the juice of the people of hell. God says. So no friend has he here this day, nor has he any food except filth from the washing of wounds which none do eat, but those in sin. Quran 69, 35-37 This, so let them taste it, is scalding water and, foul, purulence. And other, punishments of its type, in various, kinds. Quran 38 57-58 Lastly, some sinners will be fed fire from hell as a punishment. God says. Indeed, those who devour the property of orphans unjustly are only consuming into their bellies fire. Quran 4. 10. Indeed, they who conceal what God has sent down of the book and exchange it for a small price, those consume not into their bellies except the fire. Quran 2 174. It's drink. God tells in the Quran about the drink of people of hell. They will be given to drink boiling water so that it cuts up their bowels, to pieces. Quran 47 15 
and if they call for relief, they will be relieved with water like murky oil, which scalds their faces. Wretched is the drink, and evil is the resting place. Quran 1829. Before him is hell, and he will be given a drink of purulent water. He will gulp it but will hardly be able to swallow it. And death will come to him from everywhere, but he is not to die. And before him is a massive punishment. Quran 14 16-17. A boiling fluid and fluid dark, murky, intensely cold. Quran 38 57. The types of drink people of hell will get to drink are as follows. Extremely hot water as God says. They will go around between it and scalding water heated to the utmost degree. Quran 55 44. They will be given drink from a boiling spring. Quran 88 5. Flowing puss from the flesh and skin of an unbeliever. The Prophet said. Anyone who drinks intoxicants will be made to drink the mud of Kabbal. They asked, O Messenger of God, what is the mud of Kabbal? He said, The sweat of the people of hell, or the juice of the people of hell. Sahih Muslim. A drink like boiling oil described by the Prophet as. It is like boiling oil, when it is brought near a person's face, the skin of the face falls off into it. Musnad Ahmad, Termidi. The Horrors of Hell. The first part of graphic suffering, horror, and punishments of hell is detailed in Islamic religious sources. The intensity of the fire of hell will be such that people will be willing to give up their dearest possessions to escape it. Indeed, those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, never would the whole capacity of the earth and gold be accepted from one of them if he would seek to ransom himself with it. For those there will be a painful punishment, and they will have no helpers. Quran 3 91. The Prophet of Islam said. One of the people of hell who found most pleasure in the life of this world will be brought forth on the day of resurrection, and will be dipped into the fire of hell. Then he will be asked, O son of Adam, have you ever seen anything good? Have you ever enjoyed any pleasure? He will say, No, by God, O Lord. 1. Few moments in hell and the person will forget all the good times they had. The Prophet of Islam informs us. On the day of resurrection, God will ask the one whose punishment in the fire is lightest, if you had whatsoever you wanted on earth, would you give it to save yourself? He will say, yes. God will say, I wanted less than that from you when you were still in the loins of Adam, I asked you not to associate anything in worship with me, but you insisted on associating others in worship with me. 2. The horror and intensity of the fire is enough to make a man lose his mind. He would be willing to give up everything he holds dear to save from it, but he never will be. God says. The criminal will wish that he could be ransomed from the punishment of that day by his children, and his wife and his brother, and his nearest kindred who shelter him, and all, all that is on earth, so it could save him. No. Indeed, it is the flame of hell plucking out his being tied to the skull. Quran 70 11 16. The punishments of hell will vary in degree. The torment of some levels of hell will be greater than others. People will be put in a level according to their deeds. The Prophet of Islam said There are some whom the fire will reach their ankles, others up to their knees, others up to their waists, and yet others up to their necks. 3. He spoke of the lightest punishment in hell. The person who will receive the least punishment among the people of hell on the day resurrection will be a man, a smoldering ember will be placed under the arch of his foot. His brains will boil because of it. 4. This person will think no one else is being punished more severely than himself, even though he will be the one receiving the lightest punishment. 5. Many verses of the Quran speak of various levels of punishment for the people of hell. The hypocrites will be in the lowest depths of the fire. Quran 4 145. And on the day that judgment will be established, it will be said to the angels cast the people of Pharaoh into the severest penalty. Quran 40 46. The fire kindled by God will burn the skin of the people of hell. The skin is the largest organ of the body and the site of sensation where the pain of burning is felt. God will replace the burnt skin with a new one to be burnt again, and this will keep on repeating. Indeed, those who disbelieve in our verses, 
we will drive them into a fire. Every time their skins are roasted through we will replace them with other skins, so they may taste the punishment. Indeed, God is ever exalted in might and wise. Quran 456 Another punishment of hell is melting. When superheated water will be poured on their heads, it will melt away the internals. Poured upon their heads will be scalding water by which is melted that within their bellies and their skins. Quran 22-19-20 Prophet Muhammad said, Superheated water will be poured onto their heads and will dissolve through it until it cuts up their innards, expelling them, until it comes out of their feet and everything is melted. Then they will be restored as they were. 6. One of the ways God will humiliate the sinful in hell is by gathering them on judgment day on their faces, blind, deaf, and dumb. And we will gather them on the day of resurrection, fallen, on their faces, blind, dumb, and deaf. Their refuge is hell, every time it subsides we increase them in blazing fire. Quran 17 97 And brings an evil deed such will be flung down on their faces into the fire, and it will be said, are you recompensed for anything but what you used to do? Quran 27 90 The fire will burn their faces and they will grin therein, their lips displaced. Quran 23 104 The day their faces will be turned over in the fire, they will say, how we wish we had obeyed God and obeyed the messenger. Quran 33 66 Another painful punishment of unbelievers will be getting dragged on their faces into hell. God says. Indeed, the criminals are in error and madness. The day they are dragged into the fire on their faces, it will be said, taste the touch of hell. Quran 54 47-48. They will be dragged on their faces while they are tied in chains and fettered. Those who deny the book, the Quran, and that with which we sent our messengers, they are going to know, when the shackles are around their necks and the chains, they will be dragged in boiling water then in the fire they will be filled, with flame. Quran 40 70-72 The Horrors of Hell 2 The second part of graphic suffering, horror, and punishments of hell is detailed in Islamic religious sources. God will blacken the faces of the people of hell. On the day, some faces will turn white and some faces will turn black. As for those whose faces turn black, to them it will be said, did you reject faith after your belief? Then taste the punishment for what you used to reject. Quran 3 106 Their faces will be such as if the night has covered them. But they who have earned, blame for, evil doings, the recompense of an evil deed is its equivalent, and humiliation will cover them. They will have from God no protector. It will be as if their faces are covered with pieces of the night, so dark are they. Those are the companions of the fire, they will abide therein eternally. Quran 10:27. The fire will surround the unbeliever on all sides just as sin surrounded him like a sheet wound around his body. Theirs will be a bed of fire and over them coverings of fire. Quran 7:41. On the day when the torment of hell will cover them from above them and from underneath their feet. Quran 29:55. And surely hell will surround the unbelievers. Quran 9. 49. The fire of hell will leap up to the hearts. The fire will penetrate their supersized bodies and reach the innermost depths. No. He will surely be thrown into the crusher. And what can make you know what is the crusher's? It is the fire of God eternally fueled, which mounts directed at the hearts. Quran 104 7. The fire will split the entrails as mentioned by the prophet. A man will be brought on the day of resurrection and thrown into the fire. Then his entrails will be spilled out into the fire, and he will be forced to walk around and around like a donkey in a treadmill. The people of hell will gather around him and say, Oh so and so, what is wrong with you? Did you not enjoin us to do good and forbid us to do wrong? He will say, I used to order you to do good but I did not do it, and I used to forbid you to do evil, but I used to do it myself. Then he will walk around and around like a donkey in a treadmill. 1. God has described the chains, yokes, and fetters of hell. They will be tied up with chains and dragged with yokes on their necks. 
For the rejectors we have prepared iron chains, yokes, and a blazing fire. Quran 76 4 With us are fetters to bind them, and a fire to burn them, and a food that chokes, and a penalty grievous. Quran 73 12-13 We will put yokes on the necks of the unbelievers. It would only be requital for their evil deeds. Quran 34, 33 When yokes will be put round their necks and the chains, they will be dragged along. Quran 40 71 The stern command will say seize him and bind him, and burn him in the blazing fire, further, make him march in a chain, whereof the length is seventy cubits. Quran 69, 30 32 the pagan gods and all other deities that were worshipped besides God who people thought will be their intercessors with God in bringing them closer to him will be thrown into hell with them. This will be to humiliate and demonstrate that these false gods have no power. Indeed, you, disbelievers, and that which you worship other than God, too, are but fuel for hell. Verily, you will enter it. Had these, false deities, been, actual, gods, they would not have entered there, but all will eternally abide therein. Quran 21,98-99 When the unbeliever will see hell, he will be filled with remorse, but it will not be of any benefit. And they will feel regret when they see the punishment, and they will be judged in justice, and they will not be wronged. Quran 10,54 The unbeliever will pray for his death when they sense its heat. And when they are thrown into a narrow place therein bound in chains, they will cry out thereupon for destruction. They will be told, do not cry this day for one destruction, but cry for much destruction. Quran 25 13-14 Their screams will get louder, and they will call unto God hoping he will take them out of hell. And they will cry out therein, Our Lord, remove us, we will do righteousness, other than what we were doing. Quran 35, 37 They will realize their sins and the error of stubborn disbelief. And they will say, if only we had been listening or reasoning, we would not be among the companions of the blaze. And they will admit their sin, so, it is, alienation for the companions of the blaze. Quran 67 10-11 Their prayers will be rejected. They will say, our Lord, our wretchedness overcame us, and we were a people astray. Our Lord, remove us from it, and if we were to return, to evil, we would indeed be wrongdoers. He will say, Remain despised therein, and do not speak to me. Quran 23 106-108 After that, they will call the keepers of hell asking them to intercede to God on their behalf for reduction in torment. And those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell, Supplicate your Lord to lighten for us a day from the punishment. They will say, Did there not come to you your messengers with clear proofs? They will say, Yes. They will reply, then supplicate, yourselves, but the supplication of the disbelievers is not except in error. Quran 40 49-50 There will even plead for their own destruction to relieve themselves of the pain. And they will call, O Malik, let your Lord put an end to us. He will say, Indeed, you will remain. Quran 43 77 They will be told the punishment will never be reduced, it is eternal. Then be patient or impatient, it is all the same for you. You are only being recompensed for what you used to do. Quran 52 16 They will weep for a long time. So let them laugh a little, and then weep much as recompense for what they used to earn. Quran 9 82 They will weep until no tears are left, then that they will weep blood, which will leave its traces as described by the Prophet. The people of hell will be made to weep and they will weep until they have no tears left. Then they will weep blood until they have, as it were, channels in their faces, if ships were put in them, they would float. 3. As you have seen, the descriptions of hell in the Islamic scripture are clear and graphic, as are the descriptions of the people who deserve their fate therein. Such is the clarity that any person who believes in judgment day, and the eternal destinies of the hereafter must be motivated to at least try not to be of the people thrown inside. The best, and really only, way of avoiding this fate is to seriously search into the true religion God has mandated for humanity. A person should never follow a religion merely because it was that which he was born into, nor should they take religion to be a new age fashion.
Rather, they should look into the truth about this world and the life to come, and be sure that they have prepared for the judgment from which there is no return, by living a life and system of belief revealed and unchanged from the one high above.